Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. Good morning, everyone. So today we all will be talking about the cells of immune system. Now, see, till last lecture we all had discussed about the acquired immunity. So when we were uh, learning about the acquired immunity, we have seen it is having the two action of mechanism. One action is that it is having the power, or you can say it can work as the very powerful uh, fighter against the both type of acquired immune system, cell mediated as well as your um, this. Uh, Humoral. So when we were learning about uh, acquired immunity, so that time we have seen the little bit role of the cell immune system. But in this particular lecture, we will be learning how each and every cell acts, what is their role. Uh, now we were talking about acquired immunity. So that time we all have seen that when we were talking about the humoral immune system, so that particular time main hero or you can say the main warrior were the B cell and when we were talking about the uh, another type of mechanism of action that is your cell mediated that time we all have seen that the T cell has taken the hold for the fighting. So how all this cell works this particular part of unit we will be talking about only roles of the cells then uh, integrated form now see we have learned the mechanism right we have learned the various action of the immune system but how all things become integrated how the cells are present so all this we will be learning in the further lectures and for understanding the complete immunity it is very important for you all to attend all the lectures Otherwise, if a part is missed, it is going to be very difficult for you to remember or you can to connect the links that which system is working in what way. So it is really very important to attend all the lectures. So let us begin today's part when we when we talk about the cells of immune system. Uh, before that, I like to tell you one small concept. Student, uh, the cells, the body cells, they are of two type one is the stem cell and another is the differentiated or you can say the functional cell so these stem cells are of various type unipotent stem cells uh, unipotent stem cells means they have the power to prepare only one type of the cell then another type of the stem cells are known as the pluripotent stem cells they have the power to make the many type of the cells okay means and the next category is the multipotent stem cells and then another next category is the totipotent stem cells they have the tendency to make now uh, when we will learn this with the example of example that concept will be more and more clear so totipotent stem cells are your first zygotic cell which have capacity to make your entire zygote okay then when we talk about the pluripotent stem cells, so these are your inner mass cells when your uh, cell reaches to the gastrula stage. So that's, uh, <coughs> I'm extremely sorry. So this particular cells, they can prepare uh, many type of stem cells, okay? And thereafter, uh, in the further stage, that means into the adult form, we can have the multipotent stem cells. The best example of the multipotent stem cells is your blood cells. Okay. So your blood cells are the blood stem cells. These are present into the bone marrow. You might have heard stem cell transplant, the person, those who are having the genetic disease in which their blood cells are not formed like thalassemia or you can say the sickle cell anemia so you might have heard that now a new therapy that is the stem cell transplant is been developed in which they are taking the stem cells from their siblings and all so this is these are the stem cells so today we will be uh, understanding about these stem cells so this stem cells can only divide okay when whatever mitosis we, uh, we have learned it happens only and only your stem cells your 
terminally differentiated or uh, you can say the functional cells they do not divide only and only your stem cells divide so likewise blood cells are uh, the multipotent stem cells and as per the need of the body they divide now they divide in two type one is the erythrocyte and another is your lymphocyte so this erythrocyte and all uh, will not discussed here will discuss about the cells of immune system so they have the two precursor cells or you can say the two type of the stem cells one is lymphoid in origin another is myeloid in origin today in this particular lecture we will be discussing about the lymphoid cells and next lecture we will be learning about <coughs> the myeloid cell so when we talk about the lymphoid cells they are very much abundant in your uh, lymphatic system all right and uh, their number is more and more into the lymphoid tissue as compared to other tissues and another category is the myeloid cell so this lymphoid cells they are present approximate 20 to 40 percent of the uh, body's white blood cell and when we compare into the lymphatic system now we know another circulatory system is the lymphatic system in our body i had already explained you in detail and lymphatic system comprise 99 percent of the lymphatic cells or lymphoid cell you can say so this particular cell this lymphocytes they are also called as the lymphocytes they are the central cell of the immune system which are responsible for the immunity now when we were learning about the acquired immunity that time we all have seen that they have the central role to attribute the diversity specificity memory self and non self recognition yes you all remember in the last lecture we had already discussed about it <coughs> then when we talk about the other type of the white blood cells they also play the important role like engulfing destroying micro uh, destroying the microorganism then presenting the antigen secreting the cytokines and all but when we talk about the myeloid origin cells so they are uh, many many but in your syllabus only three are given so that's why i have mentioned here three so myeloid origin cells are neutrophils basophils eosinophils macrophages dendritic cell mast cell but here we will be discussing only three as part of your syllabus so let us begin with the lymphoid cell when we talk about the lymphoid cell as i had already told you that they play a very central and important role into the acquired immune system and they possess approximate 99% uh, into the lymph when we talk about uh, migration so yes they can migrate from the tissue spaces then they can migrate to the lymphoid organ and because of their migration and their roaming nature only the they maintain the immune cell as integrated all right so when we talk about the types of uh, the <coughs> lymphoid cell so they are further classified as the b cell t cell and the null cell now b cells they don't have their subcategories but when we talk about the t cells you will be observing t cell uh we have the t helper cells then we have the t cytotoxic cell we have the t suppressor cell same way when we talk about the null cell so null cell is again further classified as the natural killer cells and the killer cells one by one we will discuss all types so when we talk about the b lymphocyte now why b is designated why uh, this is yes alphabet b only because of the maturating cell now i told you we had to remember that all the cells are formed into the bone marrow only all the lymphoid cells or, or you can say all the immune cells they have their origin into the bone marrow so bone marrow is the one of the most important factory you can say 
and when you will see when uh, your immune system is developing that time the bone marrow is very very thick and with age it gets uh, thickened okay <clears throat> sorry it gets thinner uh, so because of the utilization of lots many stem cells uh, but it is not like that they make their exact copy also but with age this system uh, somehow they are reducing their number and that bone marrow uh, does not remain very red okay and it becomes yellow 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 because of dying of many of the cells so this is the main and the major reason that with age immunity reduces understood i told you when we were learning the factors affecting immunity that time you all have seen that as we get older our immunity becomes low so this is the major reason of that so let us come back to the b lymphocyte when we talk about the b lymphocyte so these B lymphocyte cells, or you can say the B cells, they, as other immune cells, they are originated or form inside the bone marrow. But their maturity site is bone marrow in the case of many animals, but bursa fabricus in the case of the birds. Now, birds' bones are not that uh, means. Uh, then they are a bit hollower to maintain the aerial flight so for that reason a special compartment is given or you can say a specialized organ is given and that organ is called as the bursa of fabricus and this particular bursa of fabricus is the site where the b cell matures so bursa fabricus is also uh, the initial word is b and bone marrow is again the initial word is b so with because of this site of maturation they are designated as the b lymphocyte now students uh, when we were learning the action of mechanism that time we all have seen that these b cells they have lots many of the membrane bound immunoglobulin in the form of receptor do you all remember i told you if any type of antigen will come the b cell will go 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 and check yes which type of antigen is this then thereafter it will check it may have 10 as to 8 immunoglobulin receptor on its body which are specified for specific type of antigen so b cell will check that yes any anti uh, sorry um, any immunoglobulin uh, sorry immunoglobulin receptor suits to uh, bind with that particular type of antigen or not but we need to remember a mature b cells which has not encountered i repeat which has not encountered with any type of antigen will be called as the mature new b cells okay new means the uh, b cells which has not yet exposed to any antigen it is innocent it has not yet entered into the fighting years that means it's a soldier but it has not encountered any fight yet understood so this membrane bound immunoglobulin when interacts with any type of the antigen so what happens like see now see these b cells they can also act as um, uh, you can say any type of the phagocyte now in the previous lecture i told you meaning of the phagocytosis phagocytosis means engulfment of any type of the foreign substance which seems to harm the body right your nutrients will not be engulfed by them because that is not going to harm your body that is going to provide the energy so the harmful substances are being engulfed by this particular cells also now i told you after the phagocytic processing the this phagocytes they are smart to flag this thing on their body surface you all remember so same way this b cells can also function as the antigen presenting cells they can also flag this process antigen on their body so they can flag I told you they are using the specialized designed uh, receptor. Normal receptor will not be work here. 
so this specialized designed uh, receptors are called as mhc so here they possess the class 2 mhc molecules okay and they are utilizing this mhc2 molecules to represent the apc so this is something which is for the new antigen new antigen is roaming so as the senior you can say they are just like the senior faculty of your college okay if anyone is doing something wrong senior faculty will stop them right irrespective of the uh, course whether they are the arts uh, student commerce students or the science students so same way here they are like this uh, senior faculty they will not wait okay uh, are uh, lower members are there to see them like your normal macrophages and all they do not wait for that if they encounter they catch hold any type of the antigen which is roaming so what do they do simply first of all their first task to decide whether they have the designed antigen over their body or not if it is there so what is going to be happen we have learned into the action of mechanism of humoral immunity that b cells they encounter the antigen and they after they differentiate how do they differentiate students we had discussed that they will take that one receptor which is perfectly match to uh, catch hold or you can say that is specific for that antigen suppose malarial parasite has entered in your body and you have the previous memory of malaria okay malaria antibody in your body so that antibody memory cells or you can say that antibody is present in your body your body knows how to fight with the malaria parasite so that one receptor will be fixed on all the b cells understood so that receptor which is suitable or you can say the paratop region of that antibody which is very very well designed for the apitop region of the antigen so on the re exposure this b cells when they encounter yes there is attack of malaria so that particular time that particular b cell will mature first of all the new cell will mature and differentiate now at the time of the differentiation that particular b cell <laughs> they will have only one and one receptor which is well suited for this particular type of antigen and thereafter this receptor uh, bound differentiated b cells will multiply or make it more copy and again it will differentiate into the plasma cells now plasma cell do you all remember i gave you example of the percolating tank with the rifle you cannot fight so many soldiers uh, sorry so many enemies so you required the big big percolating tank so yes they are going to make the plasma cell for the purpose of the migration because this plasma cell can roam and uh, go a lot into the plasma of the lymphatic system they can penetrate to all side and so for this particular reason they will uh, multiply as the plasma cells and this plasma cell will go into the all uh, part of the body and will start uh, secreting the antibodies in all part and this antibody they do what we all know that they can fight with the uh, antigens or you can say simply they can block and uh, wash off all the antigens which are present in the body so this is the uh, known uh, for the known purpose now known antigen or you can say on the pre exposure but now if the re exposure is not there this b cells it is having lots many antibody so how do they work as an apc apc i have abbreviated it is antigen presenting cell how do they present it now see after antigen binds to the immunoglobulin of the cell surface this antigen will be internalized as we all have seen in the case of the phagocytosis and it will be processed now this antigen receptor interaction will send the biochemical signal for the b cell activation and this uh, particular signals will send one type of antigen on the surface with the mhc2 molecule now this b cells will interact with the specific t cells consequently the t cells will again activate 
and T cell, uh, we all know that they are uh, capable of producing the cytokines. So, what type of cytokines will produce? IL2, that is interleukin 2, 4, 6, 10. 2, 4, 6, 10. So, uh, all these interleukins will form and they will stimulate in turn to other B cells to design the new type of antibody. If it is unknown, so definitely the proper shaped antibody has been uh, required, right? Because I told you that antibody can bind and block and kill the antigen completely only if the epitope and paratope, they are complementary. So that complementary type of antibody is required to be formed. So these B cells will uh, then only can uh, activate and then only they can convert into the plasma cell. So they have the characteristic cytoplasm. This cytoplasm contains lots of endoplasmic reticulum which are arranged in concentric layer. They have lots many of the Golgi vesicles. Some B cells can differentiate into the memory cells uh, for the future. Okay. So these memory cells can remain in our body till the life, okay? So <clears throat> now B cells, as we all have seen that they have the immunoglobulin, but along with the immunoglobulin, they have the other surface markers also, which helps them into the differentiation of the uh, B cell from other immune cell, like class two MHC molecules. This class two MHC molecules, they make uh, them to function as an antigen presenting cells. They also have the immunoglobulin, uh, sorry, IA protein. This IA protein binds with the IA receptor of the T lymphocyte. Then they have the FC receptor. Do you remember the term FC? I told you this antibody, they have the two regions. One is the FAB region and this FAB region is also called as the paratop region and they is uh, responsible for the binding with the uh, antibody and another region is the FC region or you can say the constant region and this constant region is the effector region and can bind to the cell or uh, with the surface cell surface receptor you remember this thing so this FC receptor where they can bind on that FC receptor so this will have the these B cells, they also have the FC receptor. So this FC receptor can bind with the FC fragment of the immunoglobulin. Now FC fragment have the power uh, to do the opsonization. Now I explained you the meaning of the opsonization. It is just blocking the antigen. So uh, along with that, they have the CR1 and CR3 receptor for the complement system. Remember complement system we had discussed earlier, complement system is the specific design system which helps in drilling a hole of the body of the microorganism. So they have the receptor for uh, complement proteins also, then S immunoglobulin receptor they have on the B cell surface which act as the specific receptor for the antigen. So, so many receptor, everything makes the B cell very, 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 very powerful and a very important player of the immune system. Now, let us discuss about the another type of the immune cells. These are uh, the T lymphocyte and it is again uh, lymphoid in origin. So, when we talk about the T lymphocyte, again, this T uh, shows the site of maturity. They formed into the bone marrow, but they matures at the thymus medulla. So uh, for that reason, they are called as the T cells. When we talk about the uh, formation, so at the time of the formation in the bone marrow, they are formed as the precursor of the T cells. And then thereafter from the bone marrow through the blood circulation, they will travel to the thymus and at the thymus medulla, they are going to replicate and differentiate. Now, uh, maturation, at the time of the maturation, what happens? You know, approximately 90% cells are killed by thymus. Only the one which is perfect 
that are only selected that we are going to uh, learn in detail when we will be talking about the organs of the immune system that the selection procedure of t cell is just like the military selection process if they are perfect then only they are uh, in the military if you fail you will not be allowed to enter into the military right but in the case of the thymus medulla when uh, the cells are mature so after maturity a very strict test has been done and after the screening the cell which are not capable of recognizing cells from the non cells they are killed immediately they do not their population do not allowed to go to the blood circulation and are engulfed by the uh, thymus medulla dendritic cell that we all are going to learn in detail and that's again a very interesting story so when we talk about their number so there are approximate uh, 70 to 80% into the blood lymphocyte and they are responsible for most of the cell mediated immunologic resp uh, responses as we have learned earlier when we talk about the t lymphocytes so they have the special cell receptor but they will not have so many receptor like t cells they have the tcrs that is the t cell receptor now uh, they will not prepare any type of uh, antibodies like we have learned in the case of the b cells interestingly they will not recognize if any antigen they are not like uh, very uh, interactive like b cells b cells will check each and everything which is present nearby they are not like that they will not interfere even if antigen is very close to them they will not recognize any type of freeze or soluble surface bound antigen they can recognize in a very special i told you they are just very special people when we were talking about the uh, this um, cell mediated immune response that time i told you that this t cells they are very much specific and reserved kind uh, cells they can recognize or they will see the antigen only and only presented in a very beautiful way with the antigen presenting cells means you can say at for the requirement so now what do they recognize they recognize if antigen is presented with the mhc molecules now this mhc molecules major histocompatibility complex they are very much specific and they are formed with the chromosome number 8 i guess chromosome number 8 gene we are going to learn in detail about how it is formed and all so these are the protein molecules which act as the surface receptor so in the case of all nucleated cells they are present but only the cells which are professional antigen presenting cells they possess the mhc class 2 molecules okay and now again why there is a category because the antigen which is present by the antigen presenting cells they are the specialized antigen which was roaming okay and they were troubling to the uh, body understood just like you can say it is a theft and it is roaming into the city and can trouble anyone but target antigens suppose a particular antigen which is trying to uh, harm to a specific type of cells like rbc okay so that particular time they will directly attack on the nucleated cell so for that nucleated cell they have the another class and that particular time the immune system has to uh, response in a different way so for that particular reason their major histocompatibility complex they differ a little bit understood so for that reason they all possess the mhc class 1 molecule understood student so mhc class 1 molecule they are recognized by the t cells with their uh, surface receptor now mhc uh, molecules 
remember student this mhc molecules or this mhc kind of receptor these are present on the surface of the presenting cell and this cd molecules these are present on the surface of the t cell so this t cell they have the two type of the uh, receptor understanding molecule if they have the cd4 they can recognize to the mhc2 if they have the cd8 that time they can recognize the mhc1 so um, this is the speciality of this particular t cell in addition most of the mature t cell they can express the cd3 uh, a cd3 a is the membrane complex which attach to the membrane surface then cd4 as i told you it is associated with the mhc2 molecule and cd8 it is associated with the mhc1 molecule i repeat mhc2 molecules they are expressed by the professional antigen presenting cell and mhc1 they are uh, presented by the normal and or you can say the any body's nucleated cell when we talk about the t cell cd4 glycoprotein molecule so this cd4 glycoprotein uh, what is the cd4 molecule these are the glycoprotein molecule they are bound to the mhc2 molecule and thereafter they have uh, the sub population of the cells you can say the th2 so this uh, t helper cells they can be activated if the population is affected with the cd4 receptor now cd4 receptor matlab they are activated by the mhc2 molecule and if the cd8 receptor is been uh, bound with the mhc1 molecule so the another category that is known as the cytotoxic t cells they are going to be uh, activated now see why this is so mhc1 molecule that means the nucleated cell is affected normal cell is affected understood so body requires that cell to be killed immediately suppose if now why body cells or self cells is to be killed children because this self cell is altered or it is been disturbed by the antigen or any harmful molecule and these cells can convert into the tumor or it can harm to the other population or you can say the other cells which are nearby so to avoid this damage that cell should be killed immediately understood so for that particular reason the mhc1 molecule will activate the cytokine cell and these cytokine cells when they are activated they are uh, going to uh, produce the cytokines or you can say the uh, toxic substances which can kill also this activation can result into the proliferation of the tc cells and these tc cells can differentiate into the effector cells and these effector cells are called as the cytotoxic t lymphocyte now these cytotoxic t lymphocytes they specially or most of the time are been formed when the cell is infected with the virus and they release two type of protein one protein is called as the perforin this perforin protein can form the pores into the target cell now we have learned when the pores form so that particular time everything will squeeze out from the cell and the cell will die immediately then another uh, type of enzyme they possess that is called as the granzyme this granzymes are nothing but the serine protease they can stimulate the apoptosis do you all remember we have used the term apoptosis earlier in uh, sybsc apoptosis is a programmed cell death cell dies in two way if it is accidental death or direct death that is known as the necrosis but program cell death means cell ko is tarah se stimulate kiya jata hai ki cell suicide karta hai understood so this program cell that is called as the apoptosis so the, this ctl or you can say the cytotoxic t lymphocyte 
it is formed only when if the cell is affected with the virus and this release two type of protein perforin and the granzyme so this is about the t c cells now let us discuss about the helper t cells the t helper cells or helper t cells they have uh, two types again one is the th1 and another is the th2 so this th1 they produces they, they themselves produces the cytokines which are essential for the inflammation and activation of other t cells okay when they are activated they will activate the activate the other t cells like cytokine tc cells and all to produce the immunity and they can also produce the inflammation we have learned about the inf inflammation do you all remember it is the immune response uh, which uh, we have learned in the second line of the barrier so they can produce the inflammation because this inflammation is the alarm to activate the entire immune system that yes something is happening wrong in the body so all the immune cells will gather there and will check what is happening there it is uh, inflammation and fever these are the two major alarm or you can say the siren which call or which integrates the immunity so this th1 important role we need to remember that they can that they themselves can produce the cytokines and uh, which type of cytokine they will produce they will not produce the cytokines which is going to kill the virus or kill the antigen or kill any type of the cell but they are going to produce the cytokine which can produce the inflammation understood and they will activate the certain type of the t cells they can also activate the macrophages but when we talk about the th2 cells so they can activate the b cells now how do they activate the b cells by uh, secreting some type of the interleukin molecules like interleukin 2 4 6 10 so thereafter uh, these interleukin molecules are nothing but your uh, signals okay or you can say the messages which is given to the b cells that something is wrong kindly design the antibody so these signals are sent to the antibody producing cells these are the b cells so we can say this mhc2 molecules which are bind with the cd4 receptor they are interacting with the th2 cells and this th2 cells in return will give signal to the b cell that this is the time that we need wired to design a new type of the antibody and this antibody must be very 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 specific to this particular type of antigen so that we can have the long term of the immunity now next category of the cell is uh, the ts cells these are the suppressor cell now these suppressor cells are very important because sometimes that these cells they proliferate and they can harm to the normal cells so to prevent the tc cells and th cell for causing the excessive immune reaction the that may severely damage the body it is really important to suppress them so this ts cells just work for the suppression of the th cells as well as the tc cells the another category of the null cell now null why this is called as the null cells because they uh, they are cannot be classified any of two cells like b cell or the t cell so when we talk about the overall uh, population of the lymphocytes so approximate uh, when we see the peripheral circulation 55 to 75% cell population is the lymphocyte out of which 15 um, to 30 persons are our b cells and 55 to 75 persons are the t cells third population which is less than 3 percent which is called as the null cells uh, this null cells do not express any set of surface marker uh, which are can be expressed by the t cell or uh, the b cells like immunoglobulin or tcr or any type of cd molecules are not present so there are two type of the null cell one is the natural killer cells this natural killer cells are uh, the 
antibody independent cells and when we talk about the killer cells they are antibody dependent so we will talk about the natural killer cells first natural killer cells when we see so morphologically they are distinguished from the other lymphocytes they are about 15 mm in diameter you will observe they bear now i have taken the schematic diagram but originally they bear a kidney shaped nucleus and they may have two to three uh, large azeurophilic granules as note down the term azeurophilic granules these granules have important role we'll discuss later now when we talk about the nature so they are absolutely non phagocytic they cannot engulf any type of uh, antigen present even they are non adherent when we talk about the fc receptor so yes they possess the fc receptor for the immunoglobulin as well as they have the cr3 receptor so uh, they can bind immunoglobulin on their surface but there is no apparent role why they are using the immunoglobulin because when their function is been studied it has been observed that they do not require antibody but when we talk about the complement system so they can activate the complement system also but uh, means they have the complement cr3 receptor now uh, because uh, when their role is been studied so it was not understood that how they are acting on the complement and all but they possess the receptor only so when we talk about how they work so they are capable of expressing natural cytotoxicity and they can kill the variety of the nucleated cells in the absence of antigenic stimulation okay now see why uh, they are called as the killer killer name is given killer fighter very horrible name na? why name is given because they have the natural cytotoxicity and they can kill many type of the nucleated cells now see if any cell is uh, affected with the antigen so the cell will give signal uh, into the surrounding cell or the cell will call ke koi mere andar chhipa hua hai any antigen is hiding inside my body so that particular time if any natural cell natural killer cell is roaming from there so this natural killer cell will kill that particular cell okay now see the, or even if the cell uh, is showing that i am not happy something is wrong in my body okay so that time uh, the cell may transform or may start converting into the tumor cell so if natural killer cell is present in the periphery what happen now see this normal cell normal cell is producing the mhc1 molecule okay mhc1 molecule activating ligand everything is normal so a natural killer cell will leave that cell yes yeah, cell is happy and healthy chalo aage badhte hain but in the case if the activating ligand is present and the cell is not showing the normal mhc1 molecule which it should show up now you might be thinking ma'am if the cell is affected so the cell uh, should express its antigen in the uh, form of the mhc1 molecule but why the cell is not showing because that type of virus or the tumor is not allowing the cell to work on it is not necessary that the uh, every cell can process the virus the virus or you can say the antigen is more and more powerful than the cell's machinery so for that particular reason the cell is not able to produce the mhc1 molecule but in spite of that the cell is giving some signal so that signals are uh, captured by the natural killer cell and this particular natural killer cells they kill the uh, with uh, azeurophilic granules into the side uh, kill the cells with the azeurophilic granules now these azeurophilic granules in the cytoplasm they comprise of lots of lytic factor which is known as the perforin they carry out the lysis of the target cell so the target cell which is uh, transformed or which is infected they are uh, break down or you can say the killed and after killing they represent the first line of the defense spontaneously 
then thereafter uh, they can kill the viral infected cell also even if the virus prior immunization is not there natural killer cell can be activated by the all three type of interaction and they can also produce by the interleukin 2 if the number of interleukin 2 molecules are more interleukin 2 matlab the th cell is giving the signal to the b cells that there is a need to form the urgent antibody so that particular time also the natural killer cell hold the uh, charge and they start killing the affected cells so the population of the virus will reduce although natural killer cells do not have the t cell receptor or any type of immunoglobulin incorporated in the plasma membrane they can recognize the potential target cell in the different way in some cases the natural killer cells they employ the natural killer cell receptor to distinguish the ab now how do they uh, they do not have t cell receptor and not ma'am so, you are um, mute yes any doubt any doubt so this natural killer cells they can express the cd16 a membrane bound receptor for carboxyl terminal end they can have the fc region and this way they are uh, with the help of the cytotoxic property they can kill the variety of the infected cells now next category is the killer cells they are simple uh, antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity they produce now antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity means they can kill they can bind antibody on their surface simply and with the help of the antibody they can kill again they are non cyto uh, non phagocytic and non adherent they also don't require any type of the complement for the lytic activity they can kill the whatever affected cells are there with the help of the cytotoxic property they can kill of variety of cells like tumor cells bacterial cells virus fungi parasite but they cannot kill the cells in the absence of any type of the antibody that's why this type of cells or this killer cells are known as the antibody dependent killer cells and they are also uh, represented as the k cells so this is all about the lymphoid cells next lecture we all will be discussing about the myeloid origin uh, cells so for this note for today's lecture will stop now any doubt